I'm Karen Bryant for MMA Heat. I'm here with Vladimir Matyshenko. Um, pretty much uh, a week out from your fight with John Jones. How you feeling these days, buddy? I'm feeling great. I just have left, uh, you know, a few more days of conditioning and hard sparring, and after that, just making weight. All right. Well, we're at Performance uh, Velocity Performance Training Center here. Exactly what kind of workout are you doing here today? Well, here we do uh, mostly uh, strength and conditioning. It's combined. You work on your condition and strength. That's what it talks to itself. And like I say, I think it was my last day of hardcore uh, conditioning, and uh, I still have two more days of sparring left. And and I'm ready to go. Over the course of the camp, have ha, have you seen distinguishable improvements in your own self? Yes, definitely. I got stronger. I've never been as strong as uh, in my life uh, than this time. And the uh, same in conditioning ends up. And uh, you know my. My experience is there, and all I need to do to beat Jones. Well, that's the thing, you know, obviously both of you guys have been doing a lot of press, and pretty much the storyline is experience versus youth. I mean, how do you feel about that, and do you feel that that's really the decisive thing going in here? Well, it's not only that. Experience and youth, it's just like black and white. There's no such a thing. It's a experience. It's not only the moves I learn, it's also the experience in preparation for a fight, just picking your sparring partner, picking your trainers, and just the fact that I'm just right here, it's my experience. I can't get any, stretch my hands out and make it reach longer, but uh, I can prepare myself, whatever I have, make as best as I can. As best as I can. Yeah. And do you think he's as good as everybody says he is? I think he's good and dangerous, yeah. And if I'm going to fight somebody like that, I better not underestimate him. I was watching some uh, old fights of his. I mean, yeah, his takedowns are ridiculous, but of course, you're a wrestler, I would think that that you're, you know, got got a good defense against that. Yeah, I suppose so. I, like I said, it's my first. <laughs> I had my first fight to fight him, yeah. and we'll see what's happening. And again, the wrestling is not just the wrestling in my old days or his old days. Right now, we're fighting on MMA, so the rules are different, and uh, his technique being applied on fighting MMA was working. So are mine. So we'll see how we go against each other. Right. It's interesting because this is a, a nice fight for you in terms of having more fans get to know you. You're definitely the people's champion. You're the IFL champ prior to the working, you know, you were in UFC, IFL champ back in the UFC. But I think this is kind of a great opportunity for people to get to see the janitor go to work. I mean, do you feel like it's a bigger stage for you in this fight? I think definitely. Just the fact that I'm talking to you right now is going to bring more fans to me, I think. <laughs> the more on TV, the hey, everybody. <laughs> That's funny. Now I'm blushing. Well, you know, it's funny. The last time we talked, we were drinking vodka at the uh, Russian restaurant, and it was a couple months out for the fight, so we were able to be a little bit more uh, more limber. But that was, I got to say, that was a great time, and I want to uh, I want to go back out to lunch with you. Yeah, it was definitely more fun then than now. <laughs> right now, it's pretty hardcore training going on, so... But it will be over soon, and uh, yeah, why not? I think I was sweating more last time than you were. I, that vodka was serious, man. <laughs> that was good stuff. You know, I, I'm curious, you know, they say, oh, never ask a fighter who he wants next and all that. But, you know, I know you're not necessarily looking past John Jones, but we've talked about this before, where you want your career to go, how much time you think you're still going to spend in the octagon. So, I mean, where do you see yourself after this fight? How do you want to position yourself for your future? And again, you were right. I like to go fight by fight. Preparation for a fight is one thing, and as a result, I want to see how I do it. I do great, and you know my wishes can be a little bit different, but definitely I want to continue to fight. And uh, you know, little Nag will be a good fight for me, and uh, Tito, bring it. And there's a lot of a lot of guys in the uh, light heavyweight division right now. It's, uh, you know, there's plenty of the guys there. So hopefully, I'm not going to be out of a job anytime soon. Have you picked your ring walk song yet? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's going to be my I think fourth time. Motorhead, Death Forever, kind of Viking song. <laughs> nice. I love Lemmy. I've been out. I've actually. I've. I've been drinking with Lemmy as well. Apparently, I'm. I'm uh, really uh, ensconced in your lifestyle there. No, you gotta love Motorhead. What do you listen to in the locker room to get psyched up? Is are you listening to that kind of thing? I mean, beforehand, or is there other music that you listen to to get psyched I like up? Hard rock. I like Metallica. I like ACDC. All that stuff. Well, Vladimir, it's been a pleasure. You're, you know, a terrific guy, and I know that um, you're gonna, you're gonna make everybody proud in there. It's gonna be a really great fight. I know you've been focused, training hard, cut out the vodka for a while, at least a day or two. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you're ready. So good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you very much.